Hi, this is Drew with Drew's Reviews, and today we have the beloved Hammerly 850 Air Magnum. This is definitely my favorite air gun. I think I have, I think, 10 or, 10 or 11 air guns, and this is by far my favorite one. It is unfortunately though broken right now and while I'm out here I am actually going to try and fix it so that we can take some shots and see what it what it measures through the crony and I'm going to try to capture this as best I can on film so that if anyone else has the problem that I'm having then you'll also know how to fix it and let me try to briefly describe that problem If you look in here, if you're able to, in that little brass fitting, there is supposed to be a rubber gasket, and apparently I've blown that gasket out. So I have to take off the whole stock and see access this little fitting in there sorry and then see if I can put a new o-ring in all right so that's what we're gonna try okay so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here got an allen key and I believe it's what size is this I don't know it says four millimeter so I guess that's what it is so on the on the under underside before and after the trigger there are these two screws and Should have already noted that the gun is clear there's nothing there's nothing in it no co2 obviously so it wouldn't fire anyway but uh, we've removed these screws we're gonna just pull the stock away and then you have this unit here by itself and inside here is where this little gasket goes okay so here it is here's the gasket I got from Home Depot and I'm just gonna stick it in there and press it down with my Allen key somehow that does not look like it's going to hold so maybe I have the wrong size gasket
All right, so you see me, I'm fiddling around here. Now I've got a little big, you see me fiddling around here. I've got a bigger O-ring. Okay, so we're going to try this with a bigger O-ring. Not sure that that's going to work either. All right, so we've got the stock off. We've got our O rings. Okay, so we've got we've got the stock off now and got our o-ring and we're going to just put that inside this deal here. Now there's some play in there. Probably can't see it. But what I'm anticipating is when I screw in the CO2 that it will form a seal. The, the O-ring will form a seal, um, not letting any air escape. And we've only got two of these. So, if it doesn't work on the first attempt, we'll only have one more to try it with. So, let's give it a shot. No pun intended. So, you can't see this here, but to put this back, you just, I mean, it's very simple. It's almost like a a Ruger 1022 with this simplicity. So we'll know right away if it's if that gasket is any good or that o-ring is any good because immediately upon inserting the CO2 it'll escape if it's not right. So I'm just going to try this with one of these screws in there. And like with all CO2, it's a good idea to use Pelgun oil. But of course, if our seal is not good, it won't matter. But we'll give it a try. Hopefully it works. So, to do this, you just slide your CO2 in. Obviously not a good seal, and we've wasted our CO2, so we'll have to try another gasket. I keep interchanging between gasket and O-ring. So it looks like we need a thicker one, which I'm not sure I have. Let's see if we can get this out without damaging anything. Okay, so obviously that O-ring wasn't the right size. Uh, 
That's a little bigger one. I think this is what we need. This is a bit thicker. So we'll try that one. Hopefully get it in without damaging it. But yeah, it's Well, it looks like it'll hold the seal better. I'll go grab another CO2. Let me put this back in first. Again, just slides right in. Anyone with a Ruger 1022 will know how, will be familiar with that. But except with, except uh, it having one screw, like the Ruger, it has two. And I hope this works because I actually love this gun. It's an eight shot repeater. For anyone who doesn't know, using the 88 or 90 gram CO2, so we'll use our Pell gun oil again. And test this seal. I haven't heard anything escape yet. Secure it all the way down. Make sure my safety is on. Okay, well, let's put the other screw in and run it through the crony and see. Well, <laughs> let's see if we can get a good shot first. But the fact that no CO2 has escaped upon insertion then I'm pretty sure that means it should be good unless there's some other problem all right cap goes back on let me go ahead and get set up for the crony and see what we can see if we can get anything out of this all right so we're back with the Hammerley 850 we have replaced the O-ring, we've inserted a new 90 gram CO2 canister, and we're going to take eight shots total. We're going to do four shots with the, without the compensator, and then four shots with the compensator to see if there's any difference in the feet per second. In fact, we'll take the shots with the compensator first. With the logic that over more shots, the pressure of the CO2 would decrease, bringing the feet per second down. So I want to take the last four shots without the compensator to rule out any slowdown in feet per second being attributed to adding the compensator, if that makes any sense. All right, so let's see what we get. Four thirteen. Four fourteen. Third shot. Four oh nine.
fourth shot, 410. And this is automatic safety, by the way. All right, okay, so let's take the compensator off. And we'll do four shots. Four fifteen. It's not that loud of a rifle to begin with. Four eighteen. Four twelve. Duplicate four twelve. So not big, not much of, of a difference with using it and not. Um, I like to use it because it allows me to shoot indoors, and you know that really, you know, only do that during the winter anyway. I try to get outdoors as much as possible. But if, you know, I was expecting a bit more feet per second, and I guess when they do their test, they use the alloy pellets, uh, which do travel faster. And I unfortunately don't have any to do a test with, but um, I would expect that the alloys would probably get more in the advertised 600 foot per second range. Um, if you have a Hemley 850, you know how fun they are. If you don't have one, and you're looking for one, or you're looking for a rifle, by all means, I would suggest it. This is by far my most fun air gun to shoot. Um, it has had some challenges, though. I mean, I do. I have had to replace a couple O-rings, not just the one that I just replaced, but also um, because of the pellets I was using when I first got it, it was stripping the gasket that holds the pellets into this little magazine. And I'll go over that more in a in a up close and personal review, so look out for that as well. Um, but yeah, this is the Hemley 850. You saw it. I was just doing some tests. I wanted to replace that O-ring and see if it worked. It does have a lower foot per second, but I'll see if that's attributed to the lead pellets or not. And next time I come out, I'll bring some alloy ones to just have something to compare to. So this is Drew with Drew's Reviews. Hope that hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and Enjoy the great outdoors. Thanks and take care.